Welcome to Navigating Through Business Central. Uh, I have logged in as a representative of the Customer Service Department, consequently my role center, uh, or my landing page, if you will, is geared towards how I perform my day-to-day -day activities. Uh, over on the left side, you'll see that I have sales orders, quotes, invoices, the items we sell, the customers that we sell to, all the areas that I need to be able to satisfy our customers and get the orders processed for their delivery. I also have additional navigation areas down here based on my security within the application. As we move from the left to the right, I'm in an area called activities. This is the heart and soul of the landing page where you're able to see work as it's coming your way or going from you to the next step. Uh, for example, I'm working on uh, nine sales orders that are ready to ship. I've got 14 that are in a delayed status. I'd like to understand more about those 14 orders, so I simply double-click on the icon itself, and I get a listing of those 14 that are in a delayed status. Now I can become more proactive as opposed to reactive, helping my customers get their products in a timely fashion. The back arrow key brings me right back to the previous screen that I was on. I also have hyperlinks that quickly get me to areas within the application, such as creating a new sales order for a customer. Continuing to the right side, this is one of many ways that Microsoft presents business intelligence to the end user. In this graph, I'm viewing my sales orders that I'm currently processing and in the status in which those orders are being done. Uh, these are open orders, still working upon them. These are released orders ready for shipment. We also have uh, pending prepayment orders. So if you desire to have your customers make a down payment before the order is shipped, we allow that functionality, as well as a workflow engine that's in the application. Uh, so if you have any sales orders that require an approval process, uh, they also would be uh, indicated. As I scroll down, we have more information here, such as my notifications. This is an instant messaging functionality within the Business Central arena, so that as you are working on documents, transactions, anything within the application, and you want other people to know about that particular document or transaction, then you simply type a note and send that to the appropriate person. So here's a note that was sent when a customer requested additional credit limit. Now that note was then sent on to the credit manager. Credit manager receives the note, double clicks on it, and it's going to open up the attachment, which was the customer record itself. So now the credit manager has all the information that they need in order to be able to make a yay or nay decision. I'll use the escape key and come right back to the screen that we were on. Over here we have report inbox. We all require certain reports in order to make analysis and decisions within the organization. These are uh, the capabilities of being able to have those reports when you need those reports. And not just what report and when, but also in what output do you want that, whether it be Excel, Word, PDF, to a file, to a printer, however you want it, whenever you want it, the availability is there for you. And then the interactions with Power BI, another Microsoft application that allows you to create dashboards and reports using the intelligence of Power BI to be able to analyze information. And you can just have as many different reports as you require and bring those to your desktop. So here I have several different Business Central reports that can be reviewed. Simply choose the one that you want, say OK, and then that would be refresh and bring in the new report. In addition, there is the menu at the top, which is in a ribbon format, and that ribbon has multiple tabs associated with it. Here you're able to do additional functionality within the application simply by clicking on the icon. And every page that is within Business Central has a ribbon, and every ribbon has this blue tab that allows you to do other functionality, such as changing the language, 
There are about 50 different languages that are supported by Business Central. Multi-company, multi-currency functionality throughout the application. Online help, giving you down to the field level information, uh, what's in Business Central, as well as the ability to customize. Think of it more along the terms of personalization, to be able to have the end user change the look and feel of the screen to suit their particular needs. Here you're able to personalize the navigation pane on the left or the ribbon at the top. Items that aren't there that you want, simply add those or simply rearrange the uh, order in which they're being presented. And there's also customize this page. When I click on that, it opens up a view of my landing page. Here's my activities with the workflow tiles, my graph, and the other areas that I have. I can rearrange these, move them up, down, however I want to order them. Or I can remove those web parts that I no longer need, or add additional. Maybe I want some more graphical information or I want to be able to have my top customers uh, viewed, or my biggest selling items. Uh, what's my selling price for those items? How many do I still have in stock? That type of information can also be presented to the end user. I'll leave it the way it is. I'll say OK, and we'll come back to our screen. Since I'm in customer service, let's take a look at the customers. So I'm going to come over to my navigation pane, click on Customers, and it opens up a list of all of my customers. Now, every application allows you to be able to put information in. It's getting that information out in an expedient manner that really is critical. And Business Central allows you to do that in a number of ways. Uh, for example, customer calls up. They don't know what their customer number is, but they certainly know their name or their telephone number or any other bit of information. Simply take that knowledge Carl, for example, is this name. Since it's his name, I'll simply ask the system to find it under the name column, search, and it finds all records that meet that criteria. Now that I have Carl's record, I can help him with whatever process he may have. If I want to bring my full list back, I simply break the filter and then come back to the screen in which I had it. I can also rearrange the information that's being presented to me. Uh, here I see all of my customers, but I'd like to also view the sales representative that's associated with those customers. Here I'll simply do a right click on my header. I'll say choose columns. And here I have my existing columns in the order in which I want to view them. And I have hidden columns that I can also bring into play, such as my salesperson. I simply highlight that, add it to my view move it to the area in which I want it. I can also add a freeze pane that allows me to keep those columns in view as I scroll to the right. I'll say OK. And now I have my salesperson code right where I wanted that. Now, since I do have the salesperson code, let's look at another feature within Business Central, the ability to filter. Here I brought in my salesperson code, and I'd like to see only those customers that have PS as the sales representative. I simply do a right-click on PS, and I say filter to this value. Also note I have hotkey functionality. So if you're more familiar with the keyboard for moving throughout the application or the mouse or combinations thereof, it's your choice. I'm going to continue to use the mouse. I'll say filter to this value. Now I'm looking at only those customers that have PS as the sales representative. But if I want to get a finer subset of information, all customers that have PS as a sales rep and in a certain geographical territory uh, with an account balance greater than $100, whatever that criteria may be, I simply come to my list header, customers in this case, and choose the advanced filter. Now I can add as many criteria as I so desire, and I can use either my existing column structure, or if I choose all, I have literally hundreds of fields of information related to customers that I can view in my subset of information. And then once I have that subset of information, I can simply save that view so I don't have to recreate the wheel the next time I want that same subset. Since I have my list of customers here, let's take a look over here on the right side 
and look at what Microsoft refers to as fact boxes. So the highlighted record is now giving me detailed information about that record. So my customer, the Canon Group, I can see sales history, everything that we're currently doing with this particular customer, everything that we've done in the past with this particular customer. I see we have eight sales orders. If I click on the eight, I open up a list of those sales orders. And if the customer is interested in a particular order, I simply double click on that particular order, open up the sales order that's related to that, and now I see all the information and the status of that order to help my customer. I'll use the escape key and come right back to where I started. In addition to sales history, there are statistics. Every transaction creates a statistic within the application. An invoice goes out. There are statistics about the customer that it was sold to. There's information about the item that was on that invoice. There's information about the sales representative. There's information about the invoice itself. Was it a profitable sale? All of that information is constantly being captured and organized so that you have the ability to be able to analyze the information. My receivable balance, all of my sales orders that are outstanding. There's also a service management within the application that allows you to see information related to the servicing of those items. Links allow you to have unstructured documents, PDFs, graphs, WAV files, videos, anything that you so desire attached to any record within the application. Uh, videos on how work is performed in manufacturing, as an example. Contracts with customers can be linked to the customer record. And there's also notes, such as the note we saw earlier when the customer requested a credit increase. Let's take a little bit of a deeper dive and go look at the Canon Group record itself. I'll double click on the Canon Group, and now I've opened up the Canon Group card. This is the detailed information related to our customer. The general tab is information about who that customer is, where they're located, what my sales, my cost of sales, my profitability for that particular customer. I also have additional fields of information. If I open up the field to get to the phone number, for example, I can open up my address and contact. Here I see that particular phone number or any other information that I so desire about that customer. But I can also get to that information by using the personalization functionality within Business Central. Again, the blue tab allows me to personalize this particular page. And when I choose that, I can either do my tabs, which are the general tab, the address and contact, my fact boxes on the right side, or the ribbon at the top. In this case, I'm interested in the fast tab, and I'm interested specifically in the address and contact tab. When I customize that tab, I'm now shown the fields of information. And these fields of information have different statuses. For example, standard allows you to be able to see the information. You open the tab, there's that field. Promoted allows you to be able to highlight that information on the tab itself so you don't have to view the tab by opening it. You can simply see the information promoted. And then there's also additional, the ability to be able to hide fields when you don't need them, but to be able to bring them back into view when you do, as opposed to removing, which completely removes that particular field. So let's go ahead and promote the phone number. And now that has a status of promoted. And let's say OK. Let's say OK to the entire page. It's now going to be reformatted. And here we have our address and contact information. My fax number, I want to hide that. I show fewer fields. Now that fax number that was additional has been hidden. When I want to bring it into play, I simply show more fields and bring that back. And when I minimize this tab, that phone number has now been promoted. So I can get to more information with fewer clicks in Business Central. I'll use the escape key and come back to our role center. Now, this was the role center for customer service representative. There are about three dozen different role centers within the application, depending on what your particular responsibilities are in the organization, whether it be accounting, purchasing, manufacturing, shipping, 
warehouse uh, functionality. All of those are uh, role centers that are presented with the application. Let's take an example of an executive. So here we have one for the president. Now, the executive is more interested in the big picture. So the information that's being presented in this example is more of a graphical representation. Here we have financial performance. This is an income statement written in the general ledger report writer that is now graphically being displayed so that the executive can see where they are at any time. And they're able to change the period length to any of these time frames that they so desire or look at different periods, previous periods, next periods, that type of data. Below that is another financial performance, which is the number of days calculation for receivables, payables, inventory, giving the executive a cash cycle view of where they stand. Over here is a cash flow forecast that allows the individual to see where the projected position of cash is going to be. But if the individual wants to be able to get detail, they can use the drill down functionality of the application to get just that. This million fifty seven in receivables, the detail is just a click away. Here are all the invoices that are associated with that receivables. So if you're looking at the big picture and you want to get more information, simply use the drill down to be able to get to that. And then the last graph that's here is sales performance, inventory analysis, purchases analysis, sales analysis, customer analysis. All of those types of reports can also be graphically displayed, giving you insight to the organization. And then finally, departments allows you to see the robust features and functionality that are within Business Central. Complete financial management, sales and marketing, the ability to have the marketing functionality, CRM, right in the native application. Purchasing, warehouse management, full warehouse functionality, total manufacturing for discrete applications, projects, resource planning, service that I had mentioned earlier, human resources and administration as well as other independent software vendors that may enhance the application for your particular needs. All of that is available for Microsoft Business Central. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at Thanks.